how do you envision the ecogenia model working in Greece? What we're hoping to do is um, be the matchmaker between unemployed young Greeks at the age of 18 to 28 that are looking to work in, in, in the field of sustainable development and match them with NGOs, um, you know, uh, possibly private sector, uh, but initiatives on the ground that are fostering community, sustainable development at the community level. And so provide the host sites the resources to fulfill their mission, um, while at the same time training the youth to, to do that kind of work. So really push civic engagement and develop also a sense of active citizenship. So it's also a cultural shift that we're hoping to achieve uh, through Ecogenia. On the latest report, uh, Greece is in the last few places among the whole European Union in terms of sustainability progress. So there is ample room for development and even a need for development, I would say, as we approach the decade of action, as we are trying to build back after a pandemic that has significantly stagnated progress on this uh, front. And uh, as we see a new Green Deal coming up, as we see the recovery uh, coming up, what is the context for Ecogenia there? How does Ecogenia fit into this whole initiative? What we're hoping to do is to create that, to, to basically piece everything together, to work on that awareness raising about what is the global framework around sustainable development? Why are these two words used so much right now? Why is it an imperative over times? Um, what is the European legal framework within which Greece operates? And what are the obligations of Greece as a member state of the European Union um, on that front? How does that affect me as a citizen? How does it change my everyday reality? What is it that I, that I can do on my everyday life to help you know, achieve those um, big worded uh, goals? There's ways to get creative in thinking about what we can do, how we can empower ourselves in our roles to make a difference. And I think that is a mindset that I think a lot of people are struggling with globally. It's not a unique problem to Greece, but I'm excited to bring this mentality, right? Training for young people to think about critically, how can my job moving forward help advance the sustainable development goals for Greece? Right. And also helping the corporate sector and the private sector in Greece think about hiring these sustainability minded and these sustainability trained young people and what it could mean for them. If they have the ability to have a pipeline of trained green workforce to bring into their work and their ethos and help them think through some of these problems, I think that could be a massive win. Leah, how do you see technology and data driven work becoming part of uh, your work uh, at Ecogenia? I'm sure you need to use all the power you can get at this point to achieve this goal. In terms of our model, again, we're trying to create something similar to AmeriCorps. We're not trying to bring AmeriCorps to Greece, we're trying to create a Greek version of that, right? In the Greek context. There is also a French version uh, called Unicité, which was also inspired by programming in the States, but they brought it into the French context. Uh, we have those two best practices to look towards in terms of what they're measuring, uh, what are their metrics for success, what have the challenges that they faced, right, and how we can improve on them. So thinking about those metrics for the models that we're trying to adapt from, uh, we have the benefit of that, right? We're not creating something completely from scratch. Uh, so of course, we're gonna use our mentors and advisors from Unicite and AmeriCorps to help guide how we should shape it here in Greece and also tap into our experts like Anastasis. And we have several other advisors that are incredibly knowledgeable about the context in Greece itself. Let's talk a bit about uh, the present, uh, Erika. So where are you now with uh, Ecogenia? What has happened this uh, past year? At this stage, we find ourselves uh, having uh, agreed on two pilot applications of the Ecogenia program. Uh, one of it being in Hanya. We're going to be working with the municipality of Hanya to implement an uh, enrichment program around sustainability with high school students 
but possibly other vulnerable societal groups, uh, like possibly the elderly. So that's something that we're currently exploring. We're also going to be working with the uh, municipality of uh, Dorida, where we're going to be uh, mobilizing Ecogenia members to be opening hiking trails and to basically support ecotourism. Uh, and build a stream of ecotourism um, in the region. Of course, right now, we've put everything on paper. We've put our roadmaps of how to implement those programs on paper. Um, and, you know, we've, we've done our focus groups and we've studied and we know what the youth is seeking to get out of this. And we know what these NGOs or this local government actors would hope to get out of this, what would be the added value for them. Um, but we're finding ourselves in a place where our needs are increasing. And so we need to expand our human resources, but also resources to be able to, to, to implement those programs. So we're currently in our fundraising um, uh, state. We've launched a crowdfunding campaign, uh, but also collaborating with different nonprofits to seek funding and see how we can tap on those resources that will help us implement our programs. Where do you see Ecogenia going in the next five to 10 years. The big vision for Ecoyanya is for this to be a national program, right? In AmeriCorps, here in the States and with Unicite in France, when you turn 18, you have the opportunity to sign up for either program and you could get, again, trained and mobilized for a year of service or your term of service, you know, anywhere within the country. So we do envision something similar where in Greece, we would have programming, we would be partnering with municipalities, nonprofits, community organizations across Greece that have needs. And we would be recruiting, training, and mobilizing young Greeks to help go all, all over Greece and help, you know, help these nonprofits do their work. Um, and then hopefully also in that process, we're creating, again, this green workforce that will then go and work at these growing private sector companies as their needs grow as well. We're in foundation building year. Our goal is to pilot February of 2022, which is basically tomorrow. Um, so we're, our, our aims and goals, at least broadly speaking, is to pilot for the next three years to, again, get some really good data, understand our impact, understand how we should adapt and change the model to scale appropriately. Thank you for being here with us. I look into Cogenia's social media for uh, future talks and... Uh, If you'd like, just reach out to us and uh, contribute to the vision for an eco-generation in Greece.